Hi there. Good afternoon. Welcome to more adventures in the Akashic Records. Hi, Wanda. Say hello to the nice people. Um, Viviani, Diana. Hi, everyone. I, I, we want to say hi to some people that, that are here already. Norma Gonzalez, Annie Bear, D Diane G, or G, and White Dragon. Hi, White Dragon. Jing is here. Um, and Annie Bear, I have your question. White Dragon, we have your questions. Are starred. Oh, and here is a question from Diane. Okay, I got it. And... Um, Hi, Lisa. Hi, Susie. Hi, White Dragon. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Bora Bora. Addie's here. Hi, Addie. Hi, Susie. And Teresa. Hi, Darian. Hi, Teresa. Darian. Thank nice. you. That's the name, hey, Darian. I, I was trying to think that name earlier today, not because of you, but because that's where my star seed is. Ple the Pleiades? Hadarian. Oh, I'm a there's, Hadarian. Some, okay. there's a planet named Hadarian? Yes. I don't know if that is a planet. It is a galaxy and it is out there and it is on the list of star seeds. Cool. Oh, here's Jackie Jacaranda. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Jing is here too. Hello. Tina. Addie has a question. Okay. Um, we have we have four questions. Do we want to start now? Sure. Okay. Um then we'll start with Annie Bear's question, and that'll be Viviani. Okay. Annie Bear, let's see. Hi, Annie Bear. Uh, I would love to, I love and appreciate a message from the bird tribes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to do our prayers. We are like, we are ahead of ourselves. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Oh. Do you want to read it? Would like me to read it? Doesn't matter to me. Uh, no, it was something was wrong. Like I'm, I'm falling off my chair because my cat is here behind me, and then I thought, is that why it's something? I feel like something is wrong, and then I get just reminded, like, no, it's because we didn't do the, <laughs> the reading. Oh, that's right, Annie Bear. We have to open the records. You're absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, 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 oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's right. Yeah, in front prayer of protection. Take a few yeah. deep breaths, and then the the key. We are surrounded by the pure white light of divine source. We ask Archangel Michael to protect and guide us, and we call forth all of our angels, guides, beings of light, and Akashic Records masters to assist us now to receive information of the highest truth, highest frequency of light and love, allowing us to receive exactly what we need for our greatest good and the greatest good of humanity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We open ourselves to the light, and with this light, we open ourselves to our truth, and with this light, we open ourselves to our soul's purpose, and with this light, we open ourselves to be guided towards our highest good and the highest good of all in divine love. And so all the people here, all the people who will join the show later, and everyone who will watch it, um, at a later date are given the truth to best serve them on their healing journey into the love and acceptance that is most beneficial for them in this moment. And now I'm going to read silently. And with this light and guidance, we unlock the energy field of all those here, all those who will come later, and all those who will watch later um, to receive the records of their souls. I, I got the tingles. 
Hey, Val is here. Hi, Val. <laughs> oh, Val. Hi, yeah. Val. And hi, Garnet. And hi, uh, JR, Imelda. Thank you all for being here. Hi, Andrea. Imelda, um, you can, if you if you want a reading from me, you can email me at, um, uh, it's on my, the email address is in the description of my channel. So, so are the contact, so is the contact information for, um, for Viviani and, and Diana as well. Um, so yeah, if you just contact me, uh, we can set that up. Just send me an email. Um, oh, Garnet's here. Yeah. Hi, Garnet. And Tina. JR, you may need to change your question because you're asking for a reading on the next few months. And uh, yeah, we don't do that. Sorry. Um, probably Scott Scorpio's son will be on a little bit later and and um today and he ow mm. he can probably um read the cards to give you a um an idea of um the energies of the next couple of months but the akashic records masters are like really lousy at looking at the future Don't, you know <laughs> Um, I have 12 questions starred so far, and uh, that looks Oh, like here's cool. Courtney and Dolores. Hi. Hey, Courtney. Hi, Dolores. Hi, all eyes. Okay. You want to start, Fithiani, with uh, Annie Bear's question? Sure. Hi again, Annie Bear. Uh, so, okay, you like you love to love a message from the bird tribes. Okay. The first thing I heard is you're one of us. of us and we're proud about uh, proud of the work you're doing Got connect with Mother Nature, which you know you do connect with Mother Nature. And you can connect with them. Uh, that's the last message I got. You can connect with them, um, Annie Bear. So I hope that helps you. And uh, thank you so much for your question. 
And thank you for being here. Let's see if I have a comment. Thanks, Viviani. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope that helps, Annie Bear. Um, I just want to let everybody know we have 15 questions, and so um, yeah. we're 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 um, uh, we've questions are closed now. So, uh, ouch! If you uh, if you stay to the end of the show, we're going to be doing another. Well, Diana is going to be doing another one of her marvelous, absolutely chill inducing at least for me um healings uh oh it does Annie Bear, there's your message from the bird tribes ah, ah, ah. Dog, even my dogs are quiet when we get in the car i say this i say it several times a day but when we get in the car to go somewhere i say it and they stop and wait for their blessing wait for me to touch the stone to their head because of course i'm holding my palm stone at the time so they like it too <laughs> good good i like to know that i'm in good company <laughs> okay so diana there's a question for you from sonia hi sonia how are you today this is from the masters for what would benefit me to work on please and thank you okay hi sonia <clears throat> There's a energy, energy, sorry, exchange coming your way or due to you. You did something that benefited someone else. There is an energy that needs to come back to you, whether that person themselves actually recompenses or another pays it forward to you. But an energy exchange is due. You need to work on the polarity and understanding the difference between one end and the other, and the paradox in the middle that is the miracle. It is a message for everyone right now besides. Don't overwork you are aware of. Don't overwork the gifts you are aware of. End of message. And to me, that makes it sound as if you already know where some of your psychic abilities live, reside, and what is your specialty, and to Work on that, but don't overwork it for others. Let it come to you. Don't force yourself to tap into it at the wrong times. So I hope that helped. Thanks. Thanks, Diana. Thanks for the question, Sonia. Uh, we had some more people join the chat. Um, right. Thank you, Sonia. Mirella, <laughs> Joyful Journeys, uh, Sharon Seip, Joe G. Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for coming. Warrior Girl is here too. Thank Warrior you. Warrior Girl, Mirella. Uh, okay. Um, the next question is mine. Okay. 
Sonia's. And next question is. No, go way right down. The next question is for me. It's Andrea. Did I live a past life in a palace somewhere in the world? <coughs> Excuse me while I reward bad behavior. This looks like India or Persia, like ancient ancient times with columns and stone and mosaics. No, maybe not that ancient, maybe like um, around 1200, well, okay, so a thousand years ago. <laughs> um, I, Northern India is what the masters are saying. Near the son of the local ruler. You have, uh, it's a wealthy, um, it's, it's some, of, some of the kingdom is in the mountains. So there's all the sort of mineral and, and um, you know, like gold and silver and copper and a whole bunch of minerals. And so there's, it's a wealthy, wealthy kingdom. It also has um, agriculture um, in the uh, lower valley, like the, at the foothills. So it's a very wealthy kingdom. People are well fed. They're well looked after. Um, your father is still the, the ruler. And he's trying to teach you how to rule. But you just want to have a good time. I, I'm looking at you. You're about 16, which is in their estimation time, time for you to put on your big boy pants and, and you know, start working. Uh, which in your case would be learning how to rule the kingdom. You don't want to. You want to. You want to have a good time, uh, which consists of hunting and um, partying. Um, yeah, your father kind of despairs. You get into an accident hunting and your leg is smashed. And you, so at this point, ouch, at this point, you're like maybe 20, 22, something like that, early 20s. Um, your leg is smashed and you, uh, you become, your, your uh, mobility, you're disabled, like for basically life, even though you get the very best medical care the the fractures are so complex and and weird that your leg never heals right and um i mean you could still go hunting because you can still ride but you now you're really afraid to so you don't she's pulling my hair out one by one um But a happy, uh, a happy result of this is that you're so bored that you start paying attention to the lessons your father's been trying to teach you for, you know, years now. And you start paying attention and you start taking more interest in the people of the kingdom. Because now you have a little more sympathy for people who, who uh, for like the normal sort of ordinary person, you have a little more empathy as a result of your injury uh you can you can see how life gets tough for somebody through no fault of their own so you're more willing to uh look after your kingdom more willing to look after the people and their welfare and by the time your dad dies 
uh, the king dies, like, I don't know, maybe 10 years. I'm seeing you in your early 30s ruling the kingdom after your father's death. And, uh, and you're a good ruler. Um, I mean, I don't know. Did you want me to, uh, if you want me to go into what the palace looked like and start, it looked like a palace, like, you know, um, uh, really beautiful. Lots of, lots of fancy art and stone and carvings and, and, uh, mirrors everywhere and gold. Oh God. Everything's just like spray painted gold. Um, and, uh, silk. Yeah. I mean, it's a palace. What can I say? But your job as a ruler, you finally sort of buckle buckle down and do it. So there you are, Andrea, a ruler of some nameless northern um, northern Indian kingdom in about um, 1200 or so, thereabouts. I hope that helped. I hope that I thought it was interesting. I haven't seen a northern Indian life before, so that was cool. Um, and thank you, Andrea. Um, let's see. The next question is from, oh, it's Viviani's. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't mine. <laughs> Hi, Val. No pressure. <laughs> okay. How may I expand what I am bringing in for humanity? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Val is doing an amazing job teaching. She's a great role model. She's already expanding what she's bringing in for humanity by teaching others. And you write a book and that book will, will reach many more. You are helping by meditating by meditating.
in your channel messages. So the channel messages are a great way to reach more people. Um, so this is what I got. If any of you ladies picked up on anything else, please share. This is what I got. Well, I did, if if you don't mind. To sure. That this is straight from Merlin mm -hmm. to you. And he is saying... Don't forget, there is a big era shift going on. And things are changing. Things are in flux. And to take time for yourself. Mm. For this. Great, Dad. I like that. Very important. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Val, for being here. And thank you for your question. I hope that helped you. Um, and thank you, uh, Diana. Go ahead, Linda. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, as a bunch more people have come in besides Val, there's Taro Stash. Uh, Hi, Gerald. <laughs> Hi, Gerald. There's Pierrette White. Um, Alu Pierrette. Um, uh, let's see. I had them all in a list, and they're all, like, gone. <laughs> Carl Heese is here. Tina's here. Mary's here. Wow, we've got quite the crowd today. Karen is here too. Karen, Please. Karen. Yes, Karen. <coughs> and, you know, our, Tina. You know, our feathered fiends. Um, <coughs> oh, sweet Lord Almighty. Um, did that one and here's a question from Lisa for you Diana hi Lisa Lisa I like that I can connect with for strength confidence and empowerment mm, the very first thing they showed me is Joan of Arc yes Connect to her for the elements in which you found in her when you followed her the first time. Do you want to come down? Fighting for the right. There is this theme that seems to be coming through for the times that we are in now. And the one message is, wait for the right moment. And definitely call upon Joan of Arc and Michael the Archangel and They're saying another name. Hold with me. The Lady of the Lake. The Lady of the Lake. That you're supposed to connect with her as well. So if you don't know much about her. Of course, she is where Excalibur came from and where Excalibur went back to. And she is the daughter of Merlin. And Nimue. And also Vivain. She's also known as Vivain. And so if you could um, do a little deep dive to find out more information about that so that you know how to align with your inner warrior goddess. And 
study a little bit about Joan and her life on Earth. It's so important that we incorporate the lives that people lived with the images that we've been left behind with, the legends that we've been left behind with. We have, we have to keep sight of the fact that they were people as well. And I hope that's of some help, Lise. Thanks for your question. Thanks, Diana. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. So, Addie, oh, I know what I, I, I screwed up. I went out of the order. There we go. White Dragon wants to know how long before full disclosure and where? Ooh, okay, this is mine. Well, right off the bat, two years is what I'm hearing. Hmm. But, um, but be okay, okay. It's it's going to be like a like a sl not a slow revelation, but kind of a us. Uh, I think in retail they or in marketing they call it a soft opening. You know, <laughs> so lots of people. And, lot, and lots of film, lots of video, lots of um, recognition of uh, weird stuff going on in the sky and landings and strange beings walking around um, before they actually make full contact and there is full disclosure. And that's starting to happen now and it's going to happen more and more frequently, shush, more and more frequently over the next uh um okay so i see 2026 in big white lead big white numbers in front of me um um and uh, it's going to happen um like lots of normal and ordinary people will have had some inkling over the course of the next two years, there or a year and a half or whatever it is, they're going to have, um, they're going to see lots of weird stuff, and people are going to be talking about aliens a lot more, and um, it's going to be a buzz, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be a thing, and um, and there's not going to be the ridicule from the government that there has been in the past there's going to be a lot less effort especially on the part of the american military to debunk these um you know it was swamp gas um uh it, they're not gonna they're just not gonna say much at all if anything um they might say well we're investigating we don't know what it was either we're investigating and eventually um like the spaceship lands on the White House lawn kind of thing. Um, but there's going to be big sightings, like big tens of thousands of people seeing stuff, all seeing the same thing. Video cameras, TV cameras, the whole bit. It will be recorded. And people will not be able to deny it. And that's all going to happen between now and um, 2026, I guess. Uh, I mean... I'm pretty happy. Where's the immigration office? Woohoo! Here I go. <laughs> That's my retirement plan. <laughs> Wanda, you're coming with me. Don't you worry. Um, uh, I hope that was helpful, White Dragon. Oh, stop, Wanda. And the next question is for uh, from Deanne. It's for you, Viviani, and mm -hmm. myself. I want to say a quick hi to Mary. Mary, thank you for being here. Mary from Earth and Star. Wait a minute. Click the name here. Oops. Earth and, Earth and Star Spiritual Wellness Center. Thank you for being here, Mary. Uh, and hi, Diana. Diana, do I have any past life as a Pleiadian or being from another planet? Okay.
The Pleiadian are getting a yes because it's showing me an image of a very, very, very tall being. That to me looks like a Pleiadian and waves being depicted. And now I see more of the same beings coming around you. And I'm being told that this, those gathering around you, the, the images thing, are, they're your, uh, your, your family, your pleading family. So the answer is yes. And I hope that helped you, Diane. And thank you for your question. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Diane. Um, wait, next we have a question from Addie. For Diana. Hi, Addie. Please have a message from the Akashic Masters, please. Hi. They are showing me a past life. And you are you are hanging laundry on a clothesline. There's a little kid playing with the basket on the ground. It appears to be about mm, late nineteen twenties, nineteen early nineteen thirties. Um, something about this child from that life is prominent in your life now. I'm not understanding if I'm not just a moment, please bear with me. A role reversal in the future and not in this country. It appears that you were on this side of the of the earth. Let's just put it that way. It looks like you were in the northern hemisphere, but in the um, Americas, the northern Americas. I can't tell if it's Canada, but that this is a life that's going to repeat. And now they're showing me a spaceship. So this is something in the future where there is a role reversal. And you're a part of a colonization in space. End of transmission. Addie, I hope that helps you in some way. Have you been thinking about that? Is that something that has shown itself to you in some way? Particularly the future, because that spaceship was... Um, Well, I don't want to say it was like Space Odyssey, 
but it was very large, very large, like, you know, a whole generation of people going to a faraway planet. You looked, you looked human, humanoid, but I don't know that you were actually human. That blows so me away, Diane. Sorry, go ahead. No, I just hope that that helps, Addie. Thank you for asking. I'm I'm blown away because um, my limited experience. It's very rare to get anything about the future. That just uh, that's very cool. I you know. We're in the end of an era and the beginning of a new and the shift is coming. And right now things are not as they used to be. Shift happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dogs are bugging me. <laughs> Stop. Next question is, uh, is for me. Uh, what uh, Jin wants to know what her spiritual gifts are or his spiritual gifts are you have them all Jing um, the strongest is a uh, clear audience that you hear things that's your strongest right now um, and uh, the masters are saying if you um if you center yourself and calm yourself meditation, um, you will, if you're in a calm state of mind, you can hear guidance from your guides and angels. You'll be able to hear the guidance. It will start with hearing and it will progress to uh, involve all of your other senses, more or less. They will all develop. There'll always be one or two that are stronger than the others and that's okay. But um, um, that, I mean, that's just the nature of things, right? Um, yeah, so, so if you want to develop them, start by calming yourself and centering yourself and, and, and med in, usually people use meditation, but you can use you can go running if you want. Um, with with mindfulness, you know, and be ready to hear. That's the other part is not just having the skill, but being ready to accept what comes as a result of the gift and and trusting it. So, you know, if you hear, don't go there as you're running along a path or something, then don't go there because because if you don't take action, they won't keep talking. You know, um, what would be the point? Um, um, the the biggest hurdle for most people is learning to trust what they receive and accepting it as being a valid form of information and, and worth listening to. So, um, you know, seeing visions of some palace in 12th century um, India, right? Uh accepting that, that that that's real and talking about it yeah that's that's the tough part and that's where spiritual development is you make it or break it because you have to accept it and and speak what you act on what you receive i i hope that helps jing um but you do have them all your most your most powerful one is hearing like hearing guidance start there and others will develop. Good question, Jing. The next question is for Viviani. Um, and we're, we're just about on time. We have four questions left um, and 15 minutes. And I know we want to have a little bit of a roundup at the end. So, and the healing and the closing prayer. So, I'm impressed, ladies. We're doing really well. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the next question, Viviani, is for you. Is from Tina. Hi, Tina. Okay. Past life and the previous. Mm -hmm. okay.
I feel like I'm inside a ship now, so that's telling me yes. And you had a role because our people are coming towards you like to um, to ask what you need I'd like to hear to hear orders guidance from you And then I got powerful leader. So the answer is yes, Tina. I hope that helped you. And uh, thank you so much for your question. Thank you for being here. Yes, thanks everybody for being here. There's a mm -hmm. few other people who have dropped in. Millie Smith. Hi, Millie. Mwah. Hi, Millie. Um, Aaron New Onugent. Um, mm -hmm. And there was someone else who I have now lost. I am so sorry if I have missed you. Um, but I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. Okay. Um, thank you, Tina. That was actually a really good question. Um, Diana, I have a question for you next. It's from Imelda. Hi, Imelda. Is it appropriate to ask if my son's birth mother has a message for me? I can try. I am just getting a very soft, whispered, thank you. Thank you. And she's crying. So there's, I really, she's choked up. You've done what I wasn't able to do. Thank you. End of transmission. I hope that's helpful, Imelda. Thank you. I got the chills, Diana. Thank mm -hmm. you. And thank you, Imelda. Erin uh, Nugent has a question for me. Let me unstar this and show Erin's question. Now that's interesting, my most enlightened life. Erin wants to know what her most enlightened life was like. Okay. High in the mountains. I mean, this is coming in like a like a like a river into my head. High in the mountains, it's beautiful. Um, I would probably choke there in my current body because um, it is very high. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah. Thank you, Wanda. Um, Tibet, or maybe like like really really North India that go that goes into the the Himalayas um, or China. I don't know, but you know, in that area, Bhutan it could be in a monastery. 
um, a Buddhist monastery. You're wearing the saffron robes. You're maybe 14 or 15 years old. Uh, teenage boy, well, boy, clearly, because you're in a monastery. Well, okay, no, but they had for month, for nuns too. But in this life, you're a boy and you are, ah, you're a deeply devout and sincere believer. You've been in the, you've been at that monastery since you were like maybe six years old. Your days, you work in the, um, uh, they have flocks of goat. They have a flock of goats or maybe more than one. And you and the other young boys and young men take them up and down the mountainside for pasturage and milk them and look after them and do all of that. And then when that's over, you come in and you, you start the day at dawn at like four in the morning praying and meditating then you have breakfast, then you go look after the animals, then you, and you, and you have like bread and I don't know, cheese or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like something that you take with you in a sack that, that a leather bag that hangs by you. You have your knife in there and like other tools that you, you might need. And then at the end of the day, you come back for a hot meal and then you spend the next two or three hours praying and meditating. And it's a wonderful life. It's a very joyful life. You're very happy. You're very happy and you are very connected to source. Yeah, that's a great life, Aaron. It was an awesome life. Good for you. <laughs> and that was your most... That, that's what the masters are saying was your most enlightened life. That was when you were closest to source, I guess, the life where you were closest to source. Do you want to say something, Diana? I do, because the minute you finished reading that, I heard, the hills are alive. With the sound was she a nun, too? Music. Was so she a, if you yeah. needed a little <laughs> extra validation there, I'd say you were absolutely spot on with that. And um, Imelda, 12 years old, oh my goodness, a child herself. And that explains the tears and what she couldn't do. Oh. My, my. Bless you, Imelda. Bless you. Bless, mm -hmm. bless her. Bless and, and your son. Baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bless that baby girl. Okay, Diana, you're, or not Diana, sorry, Viviani. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, thank you for that, Diana. I really, I always appreciate it when either of you just jumps in to either validate or, or add more yeah. to the discussion, you know, because that, that makes it so much better for for all of us and for for, yes. for the people asking as well as for us as readers five yes, five um, five yes and i love oh that my that goodness it is i love that you had a message from merlin uh for you know, a while so that was awesome seems like it's it's hanging there it's not moving it's like mm -hmm. we're in suspended animation everyone oh yeah <laughs> okay so Next question is from Dolores Villanueva, uh, and it's for Viviani. And Dolores, aren't you the lady who, like, ran away dressed up as her brother? I seem to recall having read for you. It was a great story. Anyway, sorry, that has got nothing to do with anything, but I think that was you. Um Sorry, go ahead, Viviani. I'll shut up now. I don't remember. Hi, Dolores. Thank you for being here. So I'll I'll get a message from the masters for you. Okay.
I'm getting that you uh, travel is a good thing for you if you could travel more. That's the first thing I got. And then I got Dolores is on the right path, but need, path but needs to trust herself a little more. And they're showing me a lot of yellow flowers, and I don't know if that has something to do with perhaps. Um, being more confident, like what the color yellow makes me think of, of that from your solar plexus. Mm. Now it's like one of the yellow flowers is being handed to you. Now it's like you're being uh, showered with yellow petals and all the, the, the petals of the flowers. Then I heard again, trust yourself, get out of your shell. And you have everything you need to move forward. Um, this is what I got for you, Dolores. I hope you, uh, you enjoy the message and thank you so much for being here. Yeah, Dolores, thank you for being here. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, we've got 38 people watching right now. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and I see that White Dragon and Garnet McCleary Price are having a discussion about prayer wheels. That's awesome. Yeah. I think we should all take stock of... Um, the book by Lama Zopa. Lama Zopa wrote a book and where he explains how to make um, prayer wheels. And White Dragon says that he's made about 20. Some of them were DVD based with trillions of manis. I don't know what a mani is. But, Prayers. Oh, is it? Okay, well, that shows oh, how much. Mani Padme home. Oh, right, of course. Oh, Mani Padme home. Oh, oh, Mani Padme home. Oh, 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 Mani Padme home. So it in it's um, traditionally it's written seven hundred times. So I'm encouraged to find out what how to do it in our lifetime here. <laughs> On a DVD? Mm. Well, <laughs> with I'll, I'll write it. <laughs> I'll write it. <laughs> okay. Um, Viviani, you've got a special show coming up tomorrow. You want to talk about it? Oh, yes. Thank you, Linda. Well, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time um, and 2 p.m. PST, I'm going to be here to give away a free reading and thanking all the subscribers i i had a goal of um achieving i achieved the goal of uh 200 subscribers and uh thank you all and again it will be a one hour akashic record reading with me for uh, you know, one free reading giveaway so uh and you must be in the chat uh 
uh, that must be present in the chat because I'll do the the hashtag. Uh, hopefully, it all work out well. We'll do the hashtag through the stream yard to pick a winner. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to that. So good luck, everyone. And I hope to see you tomorrow again at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you. Well, that's great. I'm so proud of you, Viviani. 200 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and, thank and, you. And just because I'm an overachiever, I'm aiming for 250. So please like and subscribe <laughs> to all of us. <laughs> Uh, I'm a slacker, <laughs> You're getting there. but I've got I've got to build my uh, um, greenhouse, and I've got to, yes, I've got to, to do before I can get any deeper involved in the channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I'm going to close the records now, and. Uh, um, or no, sorry, Diana. Mm -hmm. If you could, if you could give us your healing and your blessing, sure. and uh, <laughs> let's um, get as comfortable as you can. We're gonna do three deep breaths. Inhale and hold at the top. Exhale with your mouth open. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Please place us in a steady stream of divine white light the white light of divine guidance and grace. Mikael, wrap your blue bubble of protection around us that shrinks to fit as we step into the healing teal green orb of Raphael that floats and shares and spreads and transfers. The divine white light, the white light of divine guidance and grace so mote it be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you, Diana. You're welcome. And thank you all. Um, okay. I would like to close by thanking the light for the truth. I would like to close by thanking the light for the healing energy. And I would like to close by thanking the light for the guidance and compassion towards our soul's purpose. And with this, we lock the records of everyone here, everyone who will come and watch this later. The records are now closed. I got big chills, big chills, ladies, big chills. I hope this was helpful to everybody. Um, um, I'll be on on Viviani's on tomorrow. I'll be on on Thursday with Gerald Tarot Stash. Well, last time we had some fireworks from Spirit, so <laughs> um, I'm I'm to be honest a little a little scared of what might happen this time because we seem to generate that. Anyway, um, it should be interesting. Um, and I know tomorrow's is going to be a ton of fun with Viviani. <laughs> There's going to be a band. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Come back and see us again next Tuesday. We'll be back here at 2 o'clock Pacific time and 5 o'clock Eastern time for another episode of Akashic Adventures. Thank you all so much. We love you so much. And we're so grateful to you all. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you.